Yo guys, Bad Badger Trends here with another top five. This will be my top five facts you may or may not know about Donkey Kong. Now I'm not doing those like fact top fives, I'm actually doing top five facts you may or may not know about some games and movies. So I'm sorry I've ditched all the realistic stuff, but top fives are about games in my opinion are a lot better than movies. And you guys seem to enjoy them a lot more compared to my previous videos. And also, I'm so sorry about me not be doing videos recently. I had a chest infection and school just going away. So hopefully, this the hol during the holidays, I'll be able to upload some videos, show you Christmas hauls, stuff. Hopefully, I'll be able to do a, another video of Sp Spy Miles to 4 Free Plays. If you didn't couldn't tell, he's my cousin. He was in my Sandwich War video, which was one of my earlier videos, which I'll leave down below. But anyway... Okay, let's get straight into the top five. Coming into number five, we had the fact that Donkey Kong was going to be themed on Popeye originally. So it wouldn't have been Jumpman, a.k.a. Mario, jumping over barrels and saving Pauline, which was back then the person you were saving. Instead, you were Popeye and you had to try and sa save olive oil from the main bad guy, which I cannot remember of a name. It slipped out my mind. Maybe you'd remember and let me know in the comments down below. So we wouldn't have Mario or Donkey Kong because the game was originally going to feed on Popeye. But luckily, Shigatu Miyamoto changed this last minute. Making a number four spot, we have the fact that the Donkey Kong arcade cabinets aren't actually Donkey Kong arcade cabinets. Only a few were the original deal. The, most of the Donkey Kong machines were actually reused from the original, not-so-best-selling Nintendo game Radar that didn't do so well in the United States. So they recalled all those machines and basically recolored them to fit the Donkey Kong theme. So this machine you probably you see on screen probably was an old Radar machine. And maybe if you have a Donkey Kong machine, which I doubt you do, but if you do, maybe that's a Radar machine. Or maybe you got the real, original Donkey Kong one. So yeah, you can see the cabinets were reused, which I think was a pretty good idea. If I showed this to just a normal person who knew Nintendo wasn't a hardcore gamer, they would probably say this is Mario. This actually isn't Mario. This is Jumpman, the original Mario. And well, it was called Jumpman because he well, uh, he well, well he jumped over barrels. Half the time he'd fail, because when I played Donkey Kong, yeah, he just went slap bang, face plant, straight into the barrel. Poor guy, I feel sorry for him. He, I feel bad that he had to go retrieve his pet ape and jump over barrels. First off, how did that monkey learn how to throw barrels? And second, I like that guy's moustache. So this was basically what Mario used to be. He used to have his colours of his, like, pants and shirt the other way round. And yeah, now he's developed into the Mario we know and love today. I just love his moustache and I don't get why he is called Jumpman and he cannot jump over barrels that a monkey should miss and not be able to throw. So I could get a monkey to do that and a monkey wouldn't throw a barrel for me. Coming into number two, we have the fact about Donkey Kong being called Donkey Kong. He is actually called Donkey Kong it's because... The creator, who needs no introduction, Shigata Miyamoto, wanted him to obviously be Kong based on the Universal film, King Kong, which they're actually making a new one next year. And he was trying to find a word for stupid. So he would have been called Stupid Kong before. No, 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 no. We are not calling him Stupid Kong. That is a bad marketing idea. I hate it. So he's, he went onto the thesaurus and looked up words for stupid. And he found the word donkey, which in Britain, when you're younger, you use that quite a lot. And yeah, that's where the name Donkey Kong came in. And I thought that would be a good picture, because look at his eyes. So yeah, that's the name Donkey Kong Mystery Soul. Our top fact for today is the fact that Nintendo America didn't think Donkey Kong would sell well due to its weird title and its unfamiliar game layout. But they were actually wrong. Nintendo Japan knew what they were doing. They're like, aha. And yeah, it took the world by storm. We know Donkey Kong and Mario today. We know them. We love them, unless you're a Sonic fan. Yeah, I'm one of the Sonic fans. But I like Mario as well. 
I just play Sonic quite a lot on my DS, and I do play Mario sometimes as well. I enjoy both of them. I can't say I have a favourite. But yeah, Nintendo America, boy were you wrong. It's one of the most best-selling arcade games in history. That wraps up our top five. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you like this new like idea of just doing movies and games. And if not, let me know down below. And if you have a game or a movie you would like me to cover, then let me know in the comments down below and I'll get to it. I already have Legend of Zelda and Kirby planned. Uh, I'm not sure what movies I'm going to do. I might do Eddie Vigor or Ant-Man movie-wise. I have no idea yet. As I'm only a kid and I'm limited to certain movies, sadly. So yeah, just let me know any movies and I will do some research. And anyway, I'll see you in my next video. Peace out. Bye. Bye.